What's up, guys? So, I'm kind of feeling okay today. I'm not feeling terrible. Um, not feeling great, but not terrible. I got about two, three, four, maybe five cups of coffee in me. You know, I'm gonna. I'm really going to have to dive into the system here and pump it full of uh, vitamin C, that vitamin D, the zinc, you know, maybe a Z-pack, maybe something to kick this goddamn thing. Yeah, today's video is again about overclocking. If you haven't seen my previous video with MSI Afterburner, it's kind of a tutorial thing. Um, you can check that out up here don't that's fine um, today's video is more about Nvidia's auto overclocking utility built into their GeForce experience app let's get into it so here we are on the desktop the first thing we want to do is come over here to our system tray we want to right click on that go to the GeForce experience app it's gonna pull up this guy here probably looks familiar um, maybe you've never pulled this up, but uh, we want to head over to this driver section. We want to update our drivers or make sure that we're at the latest driver uh, version before we do anything else. So if you see this, typically you might be at the latest version, but you can always click this button and check for updates. And they'll give you this little indicator down here. You have the latest GeForce game ready driver. Perfect. Next, we want to go over to this cog wheel here, settings. This is kind of cool. It gives you a little overview of your system, um, some of the features that come with NVIDIA, GeForce Experience. Uh, you got your game and app optimization stuff here, game stream, in-game overlay, freestyle, Ansel, virtual reality, blah, 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 blah. We're going to focus mainly on this in-game overlay, which is right here. We want to turn this guy on here. Make sure that is on. We want to also highlight the fact that Alt-Z is how we access that, um, that feature. So Alt-Z, let's close out of this we can alt z that and it's going to pull up this overlay now right over here in the top right corner you have this performance button let's click that guy so this is the default settings for this app shows you your gpu clock your gpu temperature your gpu voltage gpu utilization the power the fan speed the memory clock and the gpu utilization CPU utilization. Down here, we have our performance tuning. You can reset it back to default settings. You have your automatic tuning here. To enable automatic, we're going to hit this. But first, we want to close out of this real quick, and we want to get a baseline setting for Heaven Benchmark. We're going to do that by running Heaven. We're going to leave everything here at default, and we are going to run this. It's going to pull up this loading screen. And we're going to get to this screen here. Now when you fire this up, it doesn't automatically put you in a benchmark. So we have to come up here to this little benchmark button, and we have to click that, and it starts its benchmark. So I'm going to let this run and I'll see you guys after. Good Lord, that took forever. So this is the result of the benchmark with no overclock. So we're going to use this as our baseline to test the auto overclock. And I'm going to interject my manual overclock as well in a, in a benchmark. So we got a side-by-side -side comparison at the end of this video. Okay, we're back on the desktop. Now we can come over here and hit this little Alt-Z to get our overlay back up. Go back to performance. Now we're going to auto overclock at this time and then test again. So these sliders down here, we want to move all the way to the right. 
and we're also going to change our fan speed target to auto we're going to hit apply uh, and then we're going to enable this auto overclocking tuning and this is going to go through a whole scan procedure it's going to incrementally overclock similar to how we manually overclocked in my previous video guys I won't be real with you not only did I have enough time to make another cup of coffee take a shower change my clothes take the kids to school take my wife out on a hot day eat breakfast eat lunch close to dinner but this was still only at 50 percent now okay it's done we're, we're, we're good says my last scan result increased the core frequency 101 megahertz now I'm gonna close this and we're going to rerun heaven benchmark and we're going to take another uh, snapshot of the results after that's done so here we are with the auto overclock benchmark results and they don't look too bad but I'm going to do a little nip tuck here and capture that we're gonna save that auto overclock save now we can close out of this I'm going to quit the application and I'm going to go and do my MSI afterburner overclock but make sure before um, we do that I want to control Z back into performance turn this overclock off and we're going to exit out of that go into MSI afterburner and we are going to enable this again my 150 megahertz on the core and my 1100 megahertz on the memory now keep in mind that the auto overclock that nvidia does is a 100 percent safe overclock i do mine a little bit more extreme with the manual overclock is that's what I do. I'm extreme. So let's get into that. I'm going to minimize this. Go back into heaven. And we're going to retest this one. Alright. Now here's our manual overclock. So now that I have this. I'm going to again take a snip of this. So here are the results from all three benchmarks. We have our baseline benchmark, the frames per second, 237.6 average, the score, 59.85, minimum frames per second, 41.4, the maximum frames per second, 239.5. NVIDIA's auto overclocking utility, 243.9 average frames per second a score of 6144 minimum frames per second 41.5 a max frames per second of 454.7 now my MSI afterburner um, manual overclock an average frames per second of 250.6 score of 6314 Minimum frames per second 41.8 and a maximum of 462.1. This is actually pretty interesting the comparison between these two the auto overclock and the manual overclock. I had a 50 megahertz difference 
um, on the core clock between the manual and the auto and I'm scoring quite well with the auto overclock which tells me that NVIDIA is dialed in that uh, utility quite well um, for this graphics card um, I don't see a problem with this this is actually pretty good if you just want to auto overclock it it, it obviously takes a long time to uh, um, go through that utility um, because they incrementally um, increase and test and increase and then test and increase and test similar to how we do with the manual overclock but um, my recommendation was is you set it at least an hour aside to do this auto overclocking but the results are fantastic um, highly recommend this um, all right I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching um, if you like this video hit the like button um, subscribe um, hit the bell notification I'm going to try and produce uh, two to three videos a week starting um, probably next week I'm going to try and get more consistent with my drops so you definitely want to hit the subscribe and notification um, alright thanks